I share the words of Ty Jonathan entitled The Winter's Light. Winter solstice approaches. The day is over and night comes early. Orion is higher in the sky now and imaginations are unshackled. Above us, the gods of yesteryear move across the heavens. The trees are sleeping, deep roots are dreaming. The silvery December moon rises and the face that smiled upon the birth of yesteryear also smiles on us. Above us, Rhiannon advances. The trees are sleeping, deep roots are dreaming. Wise ones tell the truth and beings of light lit their way. Angels, fae, the watchers, elementals, the others, and about us unnamed, invisible companions guide us all. Trees are sleeping, deep roots are dreaming. We dance together in the dark as the circle turns and yet we dance joyfully and with purpose. We celebrate the season that is and around us in the darkness, we see the friend at work. Trees are sleeping, deep roots are dreaming and yet in the darkness, there shines a light, and in remembrance, we light the festive candle to the sun of righteousness, and we declare to all, near and far, peace and hope, light and love, be to you and yours. Now and forevermore, the trees are sleeping. Deep roots are dreaming. Winter solstice approaches. Winter solstice draws us along in darkness towards the light. What might we learn from letting go of our personal darkness and moving to the light and starting anew? Rest and reflection are part of this season, we might find the energy like that of the seed preparing to burst from the darkness. The sun cycle begins anew at winter solstice. More sunlit, sunlight brings out the sprouts from the seeds that have been lying in the dark. Winter solstice 2020 in the Northern Hemisphere will be at 2.02 a.m. specific temp standard time on December 21. Amazingly, Jupiter and Saturn will align on this same day, December 21. This event is being called the Great Conjunction. It's also called the Christmas Star and has not been seen since 1223. Our turning point begins as the, as the first day of winter. In winter, earth is covered in silence. It is our sacred time of rest and reflection. Yes, the sunlight is slowly building and longer days are ahead. The power of winter is to take time to go within. It is a sacred time of finding clarity while at rest as we begin to awaken and slowly move toward brighter days. The energy of winter is reaching deep into center. It's the rich 
sleeping garden that we have within. Out of our soul stillness, new inspirations come to light. We become aware of our strong connection to nature's cycles. We see clearly the deep connection of ourselves to those of nature. We have our own rich darkness like that of nature, sitting with ourselves, getting a better understanding of a diverse set of feelings and their origins can lead us to a place of acceptance and peace. Embracing our darkness is a springboard to personal growth and change. I'd like to share a quote by Reverend Carl Gregg. When we fear our own darkness, we cut ourselves off from an essential source of our own personal power. The key is not in letting darkness overwhelm our lives and our thoughts and our thoughts, but in understanding that darkness can be one of the greatest catalysts for personal growth and transformation. Allowing ourselves to feel our emotions and experience our own darkness itself can become the spiritual cradle into which our inner light and new life is born. Winter solstice excites me. I see it coming and I look forward to it each year. I've been doing this for a long time. I give myself over to this ritual each year as it feeds my soul. I've learned to welcome the darkness. It's my place of creation. I know too that I will look back and find things to let go of. And I'll thrive on the dreams of future creative projects and new experiences to come. We can mark the time of the solstice by looking inward to study the words and feelings that we've been holding on to for the last year or longer. We could look ahead to see what's on the horizon, what we've not been taking the time to define. Nature herself is showing us that the way at this time of year to seek shelter indoors as well as going within to settle into our darkness and find that bit of light that leads us into our future as we greet the sunlight. Let's take this time to uh, put down on paper the things that come to mind as we consider our darkness and move towards the light. If you could grab paper and pencil, I'll wait just a moment and we'll get started. Now you're here, I assume, with your paper and pencil and have it near nearby you so you know where it is and we will start a simple ritual. First of all, take, take your paper and fold it in half. Set it back down near you and make yourself comfortable. Shoulders should be relaxed. Just there you go. Be more comfortable. Now, close your eyes or soften your gaze. Take a deep breath in, out. Find your soul's stillness. This year, we've been 
has been so trying in so many ways. And each of us needs to express that. What do you want to remove from your life? Can you describe in a few words what that is that you want to let go of? Is it an emotion, a habit, or something holding you back? We're trying to flip a switch to put into action and power what we want to remove from our lives. Please write down what you are going to leave behind now on half, uh, leave it behind, write it down on half of your paper as simply as possible and powerful for you. Now, close your eyes again. What do you want to bring into your life? Would you like to, or what would you like to improve in your life? Create an image in your mind. Maybe you want something that simply needs to be acquired or an action you'll take. Create a clear vision. Find the words to describe it to yourself. Now, on the second half of your paper, write what you're going to bring into your life. Now, Take the paper and tear it down the folded, the folded area. You hold in your hands a letting go and a starting anew. Take that past, the past side of the paper, that that letting go section and return it to mother earth. She has the power to make positive use of it. You can decide how to, how you wish to let that letting go get back to mother earth. You could give it to the sea, take a trip to the ocean, drop it in. You could burn it in a candle. You could bury it in your garden. It's yours to decide. Now the other half, place your future vision, vision list where it will remind you of your intent. Post it in your home, on the fridge, by your morning mirror, uh, possibly even add it to your journal or your calendar whatever helps to remind you of your wish for the future. That is what you should go ahead and do. Blessings be on you and so mote it be. Let this time of winter solstice bring rest and healing introspection that allows clarity to light a path for you along with the coming of the sunlight. Blessed be.